about some smothered chicken. Smothered chicken and gravy over a bed of rice. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe some green beans on the side, little piece of cornbread, cold glass of sweet tea. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Welcome to day one of my weight loss journey. <laughs> Oh yeah! I'm going to have those days where it's challenging. That's where I'm going to need you. I want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for supporting me, inspiring me, motivating me. Now, before we begin, I got some notes here, so I'm going to be going over my notes. But I look, hey, um, now my computer don't want to work. Okay, now before we begin, some housekeeping rules, okay? Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification and um, share with someone. Share with someone you know has a weight loss problem. And according to Google, um, a woman standing five feet four inches here in the United States of America, that's where I live in the US, weighs on an average of 170 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I'm not gonna say anything. Let's hold it right there because when I was younger, that was not the average weight for a 5'4 woman. I think they're pushing the bar just a little bit, but we're gonna, hey, we'll, we'll talk about that. So if you are more than 25 pounds over the average weight, then you have hit a crisis uh, situation with your weight. And this series of videos will or could help you. Um, if you are just, uh, if you're not more than, if you're just, Overweight, if you're just sick and tired of being overweight, maybe this video is for you. If you know someone who's overweight, maybe this video you can share for them. Maybe you just say enough is enough. Is en enough is enough. That's it. I've had enough. Let me tell you my story. Now, I've never been a, a thin woman, you know, never been a thin woman, but have gradually over the years gained weight, lost weight. You know the yo-yo thing. You gain weight, you have children, you gain weight, you lose weight, you gain, you know, you know. You know the story, right? So mid-spring of 2019 this year, I got on my scale here at home. And I just said to myself, really? Really? Really, Renee? <laughs> when is enough going to be enough? You've got to do something. While I think I'm eating healthy, the scale is a guide, okay, to let you know when enough is enough. I'm getting older. I want a quality life. I want to be active and participate with my uh, family and my, my grandchildren. I had my first child at age 39. Now, I'm not pushing my children to have uh, kids right away, but I am planning and preparing for hopefully in about five years. Okay, maybe, maybe 10. I still want to be around, but whenever I'm around, I want to participate and be active with my grandchildren. I read an article uh, recently that stated that we're not living as long as we used to. Remember there was a time where people were living longer? That's not the case now. And I believe that it has something to do with obesity or worse than that, morbid obesity. Now, if you're happy with your life right now until you die, well, all right, need I say more? Now, with this, these series of videos that I'm making, I want, you will receive, I will just say this, you will receive motivation, instruction, information, recipes, and tips to help you through your weight loss journey, to encourage me, and to help us with our challenges. How do you know when you've hit a crisis situation with your weight? Well, you know, no one needs to tell you. And everybody, I mean, everybody knows when you, if you, if you don't realize it yourself, everybody else knows and they may not say anything to you, but they know. 
Now let me give you some examples. Someone right now is watching this video is saying, yeah, well, you know, I'm overweight and I'm comfortable with that. Not knowing that they're breaking all your furniture. They're talking about, yeah, I'm not on any medication. You know what I say to that? Not yet. I'm going to tell you a story a friend told me uh, of one of her experiences. This was years and years and years ago. She, my friend is an avid uh, bidwisk player and she has traveled the world playing bidwisk. She has won many, many, many trophies. But years and years and years ago, when she was playing bidwisk, they'd have house parties, invite people over. Oh, she told me, she was like, well, tonight is my night. I'm hosting the bidwisk party. She said, and I wanted to invite, and I'm just using a name here, some guy, let's just call him John. She said, I want to invite John, but John is very big. He's huge. He's a nice guy, wonderful personality, but he's huge. And he breaks chairs. And so I'm not going to invite him because I don't want him breaking any of my chairs. Okay? So, hey, if you happen to be a John and uh, your friends stop inviting you over, it could be because you are breaking their furniture. <laughs> now you know, right? Now you know. You thought it was something else, huh? Yeah, now you know. You're breaking the furniture. Um, let me give you some examples of a crisis situation or crisis examples of how you may be in a crisis situation of being overweight. Okay? And they start out very subtle. Double chin. Double chin. Alrighty? Uh, oh, my knee hurt. Oh, my other knee hurts. Okay? Maybe you've gone up a couple dress sizes. And for men, pants sizes. Okay, so we went up a couple sizes and then we went up a couple more sizes and then we went up a couple more sizes. Now, hey, hey, we've been up like five or six sizes. Okay? <laughs> yes, that's a crisis situation. You can't cross your legs anymore. You wear black the majority of the time. You know, give you that little slimming effect. Oh, really? You think so, but everybody else knows. And it's not in style now. <laughs> okay. Now, um, what about like when you're taking pictures? Are you always in the back? Or maybe you got your grandchild on your lap. Hide something. Huh? Well, there are times where you may want to like turn. Have you, ever, let me, have you ever done this trick? Where you turn sideways? Okay. You turn sideways. Can I do that here? Well, no, that's not working, right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's not working. I don't care if you turn sideways, put your leg in front of the other one, put your hand on your thigh, stick your neck out, and suck your stomach in. When you look at that picture, <laughs> none of that worked, okay? <laughs> hey, let, what, what if, uh, here's another example. Um, do you strain to tie your shoes or put on your socks? Okay, now you've hit a crisis situation. What are you going to do about it? Here's another one. Do you strain to wipe yourself after you go to the bathroom? Oh, did I offend you? Really? Okay. Is your dress hiked up in the back? You know what I mean? Have you ever been referred to as the pretty girl with the pretty face? Has the toilet fall off the wall? Has the toilet Falling off the wall yet? <laughs> Friends offer you a designated chair. Have you had to rock to get up? Are you out of breath? Just walk in a few short distances. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of uh, out of breath because you have a disability. Well, weight loss? Hmm. Anyway, let's continue. Or do you have beads of sweat? popping out of your forehead after walking a short distance, even on a cool day. <laughs> Have you ever had someone complain because you sat in front of them at the movie theater or in church? They get there early and they can't see around you. People complain. Have you ever had someone complain at work uh, that you're not pulling your weight, your fair share of the work? Or maybe you're just not moving at all. People don't like to take you in their car. Now, how much does a car weigh? 
But when a big person gets in a car, it throws the balance off. It puts wear and tear on the shocks. Isn't there a weight limit for the car? I mean, oh, here's something near and dear to me. Barbers and beauticians. Um, I'm going to tell you the story. Uh, this was another friend of mine. She told me this several years ago, several years ago. I think she had gone to get her hair done at uh, some salon. It was a cosmetologist. I think it was actually a cosmetologist school. But as soon as she walked in, she said that she heard the male cosmetologist say, you know, I don't like to do big people. And he walked away. And when she told me that story, I thought, man, how insensitive. But now that I'm a barber, I truly understand. I'm a big woman, and when I'm cutting a big guy, it throws my whole um, posture off. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Oh, what about stadium seating? Do you like stadium seating? <laughs> Someone invites you to their graduation or maybe even to a sporting event and your main concern is, is it stadium seating? Because you're afraid that your hips won't fit in or maybe your hips can't get out. How about that one? You can't wear high heels. Your ankles are swollen. And we're not going to talk about having sex because I'm trying to keep my videos family oriented. Hey, how about this one? Maybe you should be wearing a bra in the front and in the back. What about this? Doctor says you got to lose weight. Now you know. You, and, and you know what? And you may say something like, well, you know, what does the doctor know? Uh, what does, uh, um, I'm okay. You know, like, the, like I said before, I'm not on any medication. And confidence, confidence is fine. You know what I say? You're not on medication. Not yet. Um, the doctor is only just trying to save your life. So let's stop today. Let's just stop today. Stop thinking and pretending and start participating. Now this is my weight loss journey and I do plan to leave, uh, lose at least a hundred pounds plus, but I need your encouragement. I need your support. I need you to hold me accountable, keeping me encouraged because I can't do this by myself. No, I got to cut that out. What I can do, I know you can do. Now, just so disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a health expert. I'm an individual trying to become healthy. And one of the components of becoming healthy is losing weight. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I may cheat every now and then. You know, made a little chicken wing, something like that. <laughs> but I will get back on the wagon. I hope that you have seen something in this video or heard or felt or understood something in this video that will uh, allow you to join me on my daily post. And maybe we could do this together. I'm going to be very transparent with you. I am as possible and be as transparent as possible with you. I will be transparent as possible with you. Meaning you're going to see exactly how much I weigh. You're going to see my fat. In fact, you're going to see all that tomorrow because I'm going to the doctor and I'm taking you with me. Now, if you don't want to see that, I'm just giving you advice. I'm letting you know early on. So just remember, please, Remember to share, comment, hit the subscribe button, and notification bell for future videos. So let's st stop thinking and pretending and start participating. I will see you the next video. Here's to a healthy living.